Wow. I just want to soak this up for a minute. And uh, I don't know if there's, it's possible to put any more light on the podium here, but that would uh, help my aging eyes. I can tell you that uh, on behalf of our founder and our chairman of the board, Don Panos, I want to thank everybody for taking time out of what I know is a very hectic schedule and a very busy evening and no doubt a busy day. The announcement that you just heard and the signing that we just did is literally 12 years in the making. We've waited that long to be able to make this announcement. There's a number of reasons that this announcement and this development within the American Le Mans series presented by Tequila Patron, first time, is so significant. In no particular order, tonight's announcement marries the American Le Mans series to quite possibly one of the highest quality, premium, non-endemic brands we could possibly imagine. It's a brand that is ideally matched to the brands and the fans of the American Le Mans series. It provides the series with a three-year commitment, with that, the stability that nothing else can replace. It confirms a new sponsor at a time when these announcements are extremely difficult to come by. They have sent a very loud and clear message about the future of the American Le Mans series. Patron has already established itself as truly a benchmark example of their activation. Tonight's announcement is no exception. What they've done with Club Patron, with their in-market promotions, again, benchmark setting across the board. These are all examples of the benefits that all of us that are associated with this series will benefit from. Now, tonight's announcement is the result of literally months of hard work by a lot of people. I'm the one that has the honor and the pleasure of being able to stand up here and, and make it. But I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge Ed Triolo, who is our Vice President of Marketing and Brand Development. And Ed, take a bow. Ed is joined by Drew Bergwall, who is our Vice President of Underpromising and Overdelivering. Drew, well done. They are both joined by Michael Morgan in our marketing department, and between the three of them, they have moved mountains for this series, and no more so in recent times, the last six months, that uh, have borne so much fruit. The, the real acknowledgement needs to go to Ed Brown, the president and CEO of the Patron Spirits Company, to Matt Carroll, who is their chief marketing officer and someone who has embraced the opportunity for the Patron Spirits Company right from the beginning. And I also want to make sure that proper recognition is given to Scott Sharp. We've been waiting 12 years for this, and the fact that we were able to announce Tequila Patron as the presenting sponsor of the American Le Mans series literally is the culmination of years and years of effort. And the fact that it came during this challenging economic time just makes it that much sweeter. We've had many big announcements, you know, most of them involving manufacturers coming in with full race programs and other sponsor-related announcements, but we've never had one at this level. And to have a name and title, you know, in this case a presenting sponsor, and to have a three-year commitment that goes with it, the stability that comes from that, the ability to plan over that period of time, and again, to have all of this come together during a time period where announcements like this are tough to come by. So all of that just brings tremendous satisfaction. I mean, it, 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 I think it gives a tremendous endorsement to the series to have someone making a commitment to invest at this level, to entrust their brand to us, to help them sell more product, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Well, fortunately, I don't write speeches. <laughs> so I could actually see nothing. Um, because my eyes are bad. Maybe that's why I don't drive so fast. Um, listen, you know, uh, people have asked me over the years, you know, what's my fascination, you know, with motorsports? And, you know, it goes back a long way, you know, from a kid.
that uh, I was just always fascinated with race cars, and I think like everybody else. And, you know, when I actually had the opportunity to start to sponsor Scott Sharp many years ago, um, you know, he kept on saying to me, he's like, you're such a car guy, why don't you start racing cars? And so he talked me into it, and uh, now we fast forward a few years, and you know, what people don't understand about the beverage alcohol business that I understand very well, because I've been in it in a long time, longer than I want to admit, is that it's very hard for us to be able to advertise and get at our consumers um, because the liquor laws are very strict about what we can do and what we can't do. So it's invaluable for us to be tied in with probably, not probably, the best, greatest sports car racing league, the American Le Mans. You know, uh, Scott Abbott and I's relationship started a few years ago and you know, I never really imagined it to be able to come to where we're at today. But I am thrilled in the position that we are with this series because I see bright, bright days ahead. You know, the, the economy has been a rough economy and my brand's probably been the hottest brand in the industry for many years. 2009 was a good year, but it wasn't the year that I expected. Um, but 2010 is kind of a transition year and I, and I kind of really feel that with the league is it's, it's a transition transition the year and we're going to sit there and we're going to work together and we're going to build this and we're going to continue to build my brand imagery and you know I, I look for great days ahead of us and so I hope that everybody appreciates the commitment that we have as a company to motorsports because it truly is the single greatest sport in the world.